traders and welcome to another pick a path trading game this edition is going to be on price action and volume this was heavily suggested on my patreon i've done these pick a path trading videos before and it seemed like a lot of people liked them so let's keep doing them what was also heavily suggested about half a year ago was my price action volume guide and I have now just released my 278 page course guide on how to trade the markets uh, with a step-by-step -step plan. And a lot of the examples that I'm talking about today and, and that we're gonna go into, a lot of those concepts are highlighted in the price action volume guide. And a lot of additional concepts that I do not cover on my channel are also covered in that, in that price action volume guide as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with these examples here is I'm gonna tag different chapters that I'd recommend you read before answering any of these questions. So if you want, you can get the guide and uh, that might help you with answering some of these questions. But just as a first, uh, as a freebie, uh, one of the questions that I had on my guide, uh, this is from, the, from chapter eight, is it more likely the price is gonna gravitate toward zone one or zone two? And if you've read the guide, then this one may be, you know, easier. Um, but if you haven't, then this one may be a little bit tough. Yeah, two, price moves lower. Why is it that price gravitated towards toward the move lower? Well, I actually typed it out here, uh, and this is copied from this is copied from a small section a small section of the guide. You can read the rest of that on page two sixty nine. All right, so that was just the warm up. That was the bonus. That doesn't count for the you know fifteen questions that I have here and how many you get right. And uh, track your score and let me know how many you got right. There's always someone who says they got 15 out of 15. I still don't believe them, but you know, there's always, always someone. All right, round one. Before you answer this, um, when you are looking at the price action volume guide, I recommend you take a look at chapter two uh, because that should give a pretty good understanding of what to do here. Now for everyone here, do we want to go long or do we want to go short? At 926, QKC, BTC. Yeah, this is a terrible spot to go long. Hope many of you didn't say that. Uh, we want to go short. Why? This is high momentum, high volume, and an established uptrend. An established uptrend means that price has been moving up for some time. This uptrend has become obvious, mm -hmm. meaning that when it uptrends obvious, that's suggesting that a lot of buyers have already bought. Because an uptrend wouldn't be an obvious uptrend if not a lot of buyers have already bought. And then when I see a high momentum, high volume move already this late in an uptrend, that's a very bad sign. Uh, so this is a spot where I'm expecting price to easily just go lower, which it does. All right, here, is it better to go long or should we hold our short and expect price to go lower? And if you're looking at the guide, I recommend rereading chapters three and reading chapter five. Those two should help. The answer, yeah, reverse, go long. Whew, price goes higher. Why? One, and this is highlighted in chapter five in the previous resistance becomes future support. Previous resistance here became support and we had a volume spike. Also, lows, lows here, price goes just below these lows to trigger any stop losses, as you know, talked about in chapter three, and price goes higher. Now, we have almost a mirror image of this and this. Now, is history gonna repeat itself and is price gonna you know, go back down? Or do you think that price is gonna continue and history will not repeat itself? I'll give you guys three seconds for this one. All right, this is a spot you do not want to hold your long. Uh, price is at 965, then price was at 858. It's a pretty big loss. What happened here? High momentum, high volume, price goes down. All the buyers who wanted to buy had bought. Retracement, previous uh, resistance, price goes up again. Now price clears the resistance level with pretty high momentum, pretty high volume, okay. Then price gets to these levels uh, far beyond previous resistance. And at these price levels here, the uptrend's pretty obvious. A lot of traders have probably already bought uh, there probably aren't that many buyers who are willing to pay higher prices for QKC BTC. So price moves down, high momentum, moves back up. 
and then continues to move down. And this kind of move here, where we get this to act as, re as resistance, this is covered in chapter five of, of gravity, and this is uh, underwater longs selling at, at, uh, previous at a previous level of resistance. Basically, w what that means is anyone who had bought here is gonna be inclined to sell because you know high volume, high momentum. So when price moves back up to that, that swing high, uh, it's gonna be hard for price to clear that because so many people wanna sell here because their positions are underwater meaning they're holding positions at a loss because they bought here. When price goes up to that level, they're gonna wanna sell break even and price goes lower. Hopefully the majority of you are 100% so far, but you know these are tough. So if you're not, no worries. Just go read more to the guide. Read more of the guide. Okay, round two, long or short? And I recommend chapter five for this one for looking more at gravity. Uh, chapter five um, titled Gravity. Do we want to go long here or do we want to go short? And this example is EOS. And this is actually a coin that you can go long or short on. So this is, you know, this is an actual uh, example that you could actually do either. All right, the answer is, yeah, you want to go short here. Uh, this was the point in time. And why do we want to go short? Previous support became resistance here. And this is not an obvious established downtrend, really. We've moved a little bit below support, but it doesn't look like everyone has sold yet. And price continues to go lower. Now, at this point, has, has everyone sold? Or do we think that price is going to uh, reverse and go higher? All right, the answer is you would want to reverse and go long. You do not want to hold your short here. I recommend you read chapter five if you want to find the answer uh, for, for that one. And again, these examples here are not from the guide. These are all new, fresh examples. All of the examples in the guide are uh, different examples, just to make that just to make that clear. Why we want to go long here is we have an established downtrend at this point in time, and then we get that classic high momentum, high volume move, that's showing me that everyone who wanted to sell is now just rushing to sell. And this is a great spot to buy at a, at a far lower price. And you know, price goes higher. Here, this is a really tough one. Do we want to extra longer hold? And then, uh, yeah, you'll see why this one's tough. Maybe I gave it away, but uh, yeah, you want to hold your long. Reason is, uh, is that previous support, acts as resistance, but then look here. Previous resistance here becomes support, and price is kind of sandwiched in between this previous resistance level that, be that becomes support, and this support level that becomes resistance, and it's consolidating at resistance. When price consolidates at resistance or continually just uh, touches resistance, hits resistance, that's showing me that the buyers are continuing to try to push price higher, but failing. and Although I said failing, typically when price continually moves at two resistance, it price tip tends to, to clear that level. Uh, so that's what happens here. Price was actually here. High momentum, price goes right back down. Price goes far higher than uh, you know 74.17 from 65.93. So this would have been a great spot to even, to hold your long from here to here would have been perfect trading. Uh, if anyone can actually trade perfectly, then that would have been it. <laughs> So these are the correct answers here. All right, long or short, BCD, BTC. I recommend you read chapter three, and this is gonna kind of give it away, but if you read psychological price levels in chapter three, uh, this one should be a lot easier. All right, you do not wanna go short here. Uh, this is a spot that is actually really good for a long. Why? Price goes just below 200, on the classic high volatility, high volume move, high volume, as you can see, and it goes below a psychological price level of 200. Now, why is it that when price goes just beyond a psychological price level, like 100, 200, 2000, 1000, that price tends to reverse? Well, the final seller is in a downtrend, the people who continue to sell, and then the last person who does sell is probably going to be you know, retail traders who are selling the market bottom out of fear, or retail traders that have their stop losses triggered. 
and a lot of those traders are going to put their stop losses just below 200. So when price goes, goes down and goes to 199 and then quickly just moves down like move like that down to 190 or 189, 189 there. That's just all those stop losses being hit and all of the sellers who wanted to sell, they've already sold. So price is a far easier time moving higher. Now here, do we want to hold our long or go short at 255? So we probably want to hold our long here. Uh, reason is previous resistance became support and price goes higher. Now here, do we want to exit or do we want to hold our long? Uh, I'd recommend you read chapter five of the price action volume guide for this one. So this one, we probably want to exit our long. Price goes far lower. Uh, price was here, and then price fell by almost, I think, like 45% or something on the one hour. Uh, yeah. Why? Well, price makes a double top. Resistance is formed. Anyone who had previously bought here is probably going to want to sell. That goes lower. Price goes far lower. But notice here. What happens when price, this is the previous time that price went below 200 and went higher that we just talked about. What happened when it did it again? Price went just below 200 because all of these traders had put their stop losses just below 200. So price hunts that liquidity, high momentum down, and then begins another uptrend. After screwing over any trader who had put a stop loss just below a major low. The market is dirty, but this is how it works. So these are the correct answers. Uh, hopefully some of you have gotten that one correct. This is a pretty similar example. Um, hopefully that doesn't give it away, but would you rather go long or short here? So this is a good spot to go long. Price goes just below 2000. The 2000 level right there, price goes just below 2000. It also goes slightly, slightly below this low here. So faking out a lot of traders and getting them to sell and then price goes higher. Now here, do we want to hold our long or do we want to reverse and go short at 25.58? I recommend you read chapter one for the answer to this one of price action volume guide. All right, this is a high momentum, high volume move, but it's an emerging uptrend, not an established uptrend. Uh, price continues to go higher. When price moves in high volume and on high momentum above uh, resistance and after consolidation, this is not telling me that everyone has already bought into this uptrend. Uh, this is telling me that price is likely to continue to find buyers to you know push it up higher. How about now? Price goes above that high, that high, and price goes above that high. Uh, is this a spot where it's just a pause in the market and price keeps going up? Or is this a spot where we're triggering any liquidity of stops and price goes down? Here, price goes lower. Uh, this is a spot we definitely want to exit our long. No reason to hold our long position right here. Uh, and actually, price goes down back to here, which is the current price level that we're at. So these are the correct answers here. All right, round five, everyone's favorite coin, Bitcoin. And do we want to go long or short? And if you want uh, some help on this, you can go to chapter three of the Price Action Volume Guide, and that should help out a lot. Um, also, you can read chapter, I think chapter five would help too. This is a spot where it would be, I'm going to give the answer here, so think about the answer. Okay. This is a spot that would be terrible to short at. Uh, yeah. This is the bottom. Price goes higher. Previous resistance became support. Also, price goes just below 3,900, which is right there. That's a major psychological level. Fakes out traders and then goes higher. So those two reasons, and also, of course, volume spikes, three reasons are why price was able to go higher and this retracing move stopped. Now, price is now at 41.44. Hopefully, you had bought at 38.98.5 on the previous slide. Do we want to hold our long here, or do we want to short? Yeah, we're going to want to hold, we're, we're going to want to, oh, almost mis, misspoke it. We're going to want to short here. Uh, price does go lower after this resistance is formed and high volume, high momentum, high volume up to previous resistance. Doesn't last, price goes lower. Now here, would it be better to exit our short or to hold it? 
This is a spot where we probably want to exit our short. Uh, we can see that price goes just below this low. Triggers any liquidity. Triggers stop losses of any longs who had bought here. Put their stop losses just below here. Hits them. Also, if anyone had put their stop loss just below 3,900, stop loss triggered <laughs> and price goes higher. So this is a spot where after high momentum, yeah, you want to exit. This kind of high momentum, high volume move down to just below previous support, not a good sign for the market. So price goes back into the range. And these are the correct answers here. So I'm hoping that some of you may have gotten 15 out of 15 correct, and also the bonus question correct, which would be 16 out of 16, or 16 out of 15, because it's you know bonus. Um, but if you did not, then I have the price action volume guide here uh, in the description below, if you want to go check that out. And I also made a video that talks about it and shows some examples and strategies and really what is inside the price action volume guide. And with that, happy trading.